Hello, cherries. Welcome to live. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Welcome to live Jerry Cherry Sunday, episode 39. And in this video, we're going to be playing the Lydian mode. And we're going to come up with some cool chord progressions of famous songs that you probably know. And um, we're going to kind of study these progressions a little bit and analyze them and have some fun playing the Lydian mode. So uh, hope you have your guitars out. And uh, Kelly, my friend Kelly's here in the live chat. How you doing, Kel? So good to see you. Give you a round of applause for showing up. This is what the Lydia mode sounds like. So that was uh, Joe Satriani flying in a blue dream. Rocking the Rockies. What's happening? So playing some uh, Lydian mode here. And uh, a great example of the Lydian mode is that song I was just playing, Flying in a Blue Dream by uh, Joe Satriani. And uh, basically it's, it's a really cool scale. You know, it's um, you have your major scale, which is... But if you take one note, you take the fourth note and you raise it up a half step, you have the Lydian mode. That's really all there is to it. And um, so what's cool is, you know, over this, like in the Satriani song, over the C chord, he has a, uh, it's the C, he's playing that sharp four note. It's like, it's right here. Which is this to A flat, same scale. And back to C. that scale <laughs> hit the like button subscribe if you're liking the Lydian mode so um, I'm gonna basically play a couple songs that are in the vein of the Lydian mode and um, hopefully you guys are following along enjoying this and uh, first of all thanks for hanging out with me for on this Sunday episode 39 what are you guys drinking out there you have your coffee <laughs> your beer I know it's beer o'clock somewhere so uh cheers to you guys sounds nice awesome so hopefully you guys get uh see me okay and hear me okay and um 
So let's see. What we have here is um, check out this song. This is a perfect example of a um, Lydian mode. Also, you know this one. <laughs> Zeppelin, Dancing Days. <laughs> That's Lydian because you have the, a G major chord. Right? And he's basically emphasizing the sharp four. Ice T? Rocking the ice T's? All right. So, uh,. Check the tuning again real quick. Looks pretty good. Ooh, the E's a little sharp. All right. So iced tea is good. Is it sweetened or non-sweetened? <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'll put timestamps. I always put timestamps in here so you can get right to the, the lesson and um, even the, a breakdown of the songs that I'm doing. <laughs> So you're emphasizing the um, sharp four right here. Here's the uh, G chord. Open on the, the D, the G, and the B string. And if you hit this um, C sharp, that's a sharp four. this weird ringing. I think it's my reverb on my Fender Deluxe. So, um, yeah, so this scale, in this case, G. So many cool songs have that, that um, Lydian feel in it. Like, uh, okay, so you have Dancing Days, which has a... And actually goes to a C. And it utilizes another Lydian. Here it is again. Major third, sharp four. This first chord's a, a regular fourth. Sharp four. So I always love that song, Dancing Days. <laughs> you drinking coffee? Kel, that sounds delicious. Iced tea rocking the Rockies. All right, hello, Lori. Hello, hello. You say goodbye, <coughs> and I say hello. <laughs> I'm enjoying some coffee in my Jerry Cherry mug right here with my guitar popping out of my cherry. <laughs> Ah, it's fantastic. Made it myself. So let's see. What other songs have Lydia Mo? We play some of Joe Satriani. Um, and when we played the Joe Satriani song, what's cool about that is he, he, he plays a progression where it's like C. You know, C is Lydian. And then it goes to an A flat. And he emphasizes C Lydian as well. And back to C. And then he goes to a G, which is another Lydian. And then an F, another Lydian, to a C. So we're switching keys four times. <laughs> and that cool riff with the same, same thing, you know. I, I love that, that's really cool. How about some chord progressions in the key of A for that Lydian scale? Rock on the Rockies. Okay, in the key of A. All right, well, well, the thing is, you know, you almost want to think of um, Lydian as its own key, really. So um, Lydian in the key of A, how about some chord progressions in the key of A, that Lydian scale? Well, 
Let's see. Lydian is the fourth chord of the key. So it's always the four chord, right? So let me just tune this darn G string. And uh, let's see. Okay. If it's um Hmm. We could do uh Well, perfect example right here. You want the key of A. Alright, well alright. So the key of A the four chord would be a D and a um and an E chord. So you would play a D Lydian if you're in really in the key of A. So here, check this out. We'll do this. We'll go, uh, and you're really here because I'll drone the D note. I'll play a D here, then I'll go, so I'm going to play a D, then I'm going to play an E with the D underneath it. You know, this is an E right here too. Okay, so we'll do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So really, you could play an A, key of A, A major. Right? But you really want to kind of you want to emphasize the D. You want to start on the D. picture the scale the a major scale as you see it you see that sharp four right here from the D but you could actually also to learn all over the neck you can kind of like if you know where a major is everywhere so you want to go up here A major, but I looked for the D inside the A major. See? You have your D Lydian right here. it in A, if, you, if you're in the key of A, but if you're thinking A Lydian, that's a whole nother thing, then A Lydian is really the key of E, because it's the four chord, you got E, F, G, A. So, uh, and basically, you know, if you want to make any, you can make any progression in the key of A for um for Lydian so you would just have to um start on the D and that would be the center of the progression you have a D and an E you go to an F sharp 
Well, you go to a, an A. As long as D is the the foundation. You know. There's another one right there. Here's a D. F sharp. E. To an A. <laughs> you know. D. F sharp. A. E. D. So you can do that. I'll do this one real quick. So you have a, uh, a D, F sharp, A, E, D. And right there, that's um, D, key of A, but you're playing D, Lydian. There's another progression for you. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Mazingo. You got these picks. These are all Mozingo picks. That I got from Mr. Mozingo. <laughs> and they're totally awesome. I love it. I love the heavy ones. I love this um, Calico one. Fantastic. So hopefully you guys are getting this. Now here's another example of a um, of Lydian. There's a great Tears for Fear song called um, Head Over Heels. And uh, and basically that's a Lydian. It's um so the progression is basically whenever you have like two major chords back to back, that's usually a Lydian progression right there. If your key center is the is the first one. So you have a C. Then I'm gonna play a D right over it. I'm gonna play a C and then I'm gonna play a, a D slash C. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Oh, I had the, had the old loop on there. One, two, three, four. All right, you guys know this one. So that's a Lydian example right there. Because you have the um, a C chord with a D. Because you have this um, sharp four right there. The sharp four is the third of D. Right. And that's what that, um, those two chords give you. And, um, and in the riff, so basically you could play in G right there. So once again, you have your four chord, your five chord. You're really in the key of G. So that, that melody, when I was thinking of um, where I'm going to play it, basically it's in this G position. 
a G major scale. And I'm just going. Right, so you can't go wrong, really, if you're just going to play G major all over it. Is. Then you have a um, you have the uh, over the C. And here's the riff again. It's really it's this F sharp. Sharp four. If you're used to playing this position, say you're used to playing like, you know, here in E minor. Play in there. Check it out. I'm gonna play E minor. It's really it's the same thing as C Lydian. It's the same notes. Here's the C. I could uh, emphasize this F sharp, F sharp Locrian. Hopefully you guys are getting that. Thanks for the shout outs. I'm honored. Cool, let's uh, using your Mozingo picks in action. Thank you, my friend. Those are great picks. Really enjoy playing with them. Really cool. So, uh, are you guys getting this stuff? Mozingo, you guys, you picking this up? This leading, is it helpful? Hopefully it's helpful. And I keep forgetting the camera's over there. <laughs> So, uh, all right, so um, we have a couple more examples here. And um, so before I move on, I just want to chat with you guys for a little bit, see if everything's going good. Hopefully you had a great week. Um, starting in two weeks, I'm going to do this at 12 o'clock. I'm going to move it earlier an hour. You know, because on uh, September 12th, football season will be coming back. And, uh, you know. We gotta leave time to get to the games and you know, and turn on the TV and all that good stuff. So, definitely Saturani sounding. 
Yeah. It's definitely Satriani sounding, just like the um, Flying in a Blue Dream. You know, his riff is, uh, oh, I had my tone knob down, I think. He has a um, riff that's like. I played this earlier. He's taking the third. He's taking the fourth. Sharp four. Here's the sound. What's cool, you know, I'm playing a C chord, but if you know E minor scale everywhere, you can play an E minor scale and have the Lydian sound. So check it out. Here's a C. Check this out. Here's another example. Tom Petty. You have a... Actually, you know what? I have a better example. I have my own song that uses Lydian. It's a song called Jackie. And the song goes like this. It's A. To, uh, to B. If I could have forever all just one night, I would spend it with you. You're the queen of my heart. You listen to my dreams when I open my heart. Always give me everything. There's an example right there of an A and a B with the B ringing out together with the A. So whenever you hear that sound, you know it's Lydian. And with an example like this, you could solo A Lydian if you want to like create a track that was like a... Something like a.
play a B. Arpeggio. So, having a little fun. So that's your Lydian mode. And, um, man, there's a lot of songs you could play in Lydian mode, a lot of progressions. Just uh, check out some of those songs, Dancing Days, Head Over Heels. Here Comes My Girl from Tom Petty does it. My song Jackie, uh, Flying in a Blue Dream. You know, you could just basically take those progressions and just practice improvising your Lydian mode. And... Um, you know, and have a ton of fun with it. <laughs> so, uh, all right, I just want to mention that uh, I, I go live every Sunday, like I am right now. And uh, so come back next week. Let me know if there's anything that you want me to teach, any other modes that you'd like. What are your favorite modes, by the way? And um, I also go live on Facebook every Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, some of my friends here in the chat, like, like uh, Lori and Kelly and Tom, most of you guys have actually seen some of my Facebook live shows, and I really appreciate that. So, um, you know, come back again Thursday and uh, check out, uh, I play for an hour and a half, original music and some fun covers. So please join us. It's a ton of fun right there. We have a good time. And uh, Kelly, she has a show on, on um, Facebook as well, on Kelly's Music Corner. Every Tuesday and Thursday, she sings and tells bedtime stories <laughs> at 7 o'clock. So if, you're, if you go to bed early, or if you don't, um, either way, it's, um, they're, they're stories that are not just for children. They're amazing stories that I enjoy, and I'm a kid anyway. So uh, check her out at Kelly's Music Corner at 7 o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And her dad plays a mean guitar. He plays live every Saturday at six o'clock so check him out fortune esposito and um she's amazing i want to thank all you guys for hanging out with me today and uh rocking the rockies let's see uh now you're just showing off <laughs> i'm trying not to show off you know this this channel i don't want it to be about it's not about me showing off um as a matter of fact i don't really even enjoy 
showing off really because um, my whole goal here is to really is to get better myself and to help you guys you know along the way because a lot of the stuff you know I don't practice as much as I should <laughs> so showing off is not something that uh, I really feel completely comfortable doing a lot of times um, but sometimes I just kind of get lost in my own my own head but um which is easy to do when you're doing these scales and modes. But I don't want to get off on tangents playing over and over. I want, to, I want it to be helpful to you guys. So you're right. You're calling me out. <laughs> and thank you for that. And uh, yeah, come on. Hang out with us on Thursday, Tom. You'll be there. And just request some songs. And I uh, love try to get to them. So uh, what else do I want to mention before we go? Um, yeah, guys, enjoy the rest of your your weekend. I know it's Sunday and you have uh, the rest of this beautiful day to get outside and uh, and do something special. So um, I don't want to hold you up too much longer. So, um, and uh, you know, if you're interested in any of this gear, I always post in my um, description all the gear that I use here, the pedals and the amp and stuff. So if you're interested in, in all that stuff. Hello, Bradley. How you doing, my friend? So good to see you. All right, hopefully you're catching um, some good information here with the Lydian mode. And um, it's a great mode. It's one of my favorite, actually. It's a real spacey, space cadet mode. You know, Joe Satriani, Steve Vai are known for it. They always talk about it, and they write a lot of songs in it. And um, yeah, I'm starting to get into the groove. But I played that last week. You know, I did play that last week where it's like, so, yeah. <laughs> and that was the Aeolian mode. It was a uh So that's C Aeolian. Get into the groove. Get into the groove. Rockin' the Rockies, prove your love to me. <laughs> um, I'm representing now for Vampires an Acoustic Thursday. I'm requesting now for Vampires. I thought you were representing. You're gonna wear your, show me some some fangs. <laughs> okay, you got it. Tom G. Vampires for you, coming up on Thursday nights. So, uh, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me on this Thursday. Um, if you haven't checked out my latest video, I made one on, I did the guitar solo to Alone from Hearts um, last Friday. I didn't do anything this week because I've been working, trying to finish my original song that's going to be done in the next few days. So look out for that. I have a brand new song that I'm in the middle of finishing mixing right now. So that's what I've been really busy Focusing on, besides trying to get a more pleasant, enjoyable live stream for you guys. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got some some lights. I got that little cool light right there. And you know what, while you're here, I'm going to... I almost spilled my coffee. I'm going to show off real quick. Check this out. With this, you can actually adjust the, the color with your phone. Check it out. Watch this. Bring it up right there. Whoa. I can change the colors. Blue. Blue. Green. It's kind of far. Yeah, it's kind of far, so it's not picking up so great but anyway you know so i'm investing in some new technology for you guys and watch this look let's see here's another remote it changes this one over here
I'm fancy. I'm so fancy. I'm fancy pantsy. <laughs> so, um, and I have a camera that I'm using instead of my horrible looking webcam. So hopefully that looks a little bit better. So thank you guys for uh, putting up with me. <laughs> hopefully you've, you've learned something with Lydia mode and I gave you some, uh, some ideas. That's what it's all about. You know, I have lots of ideas, lots of musical ideas that I want to share with you guys so that you can use them yourself because that's what music's all about. It's about sharing it, playing it and sharing it. Thank you, Laura. It looks good. I'm working on it. It's, you know, it's definitely, I'm definitely working on it and I'm fancy, fancy pantsy. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. So vampires for you coming up, my friend, Thursday night. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Thanks for spending some time with me and uh, fiber optic. Yeah, well, my live sh that's that's true too. I am going with uh with FiOS right now with in their fiber optic. I was using Optimum Forever and uh, and uh, I think I'm getting a better live stream with uh, fiber optics. And uh, it looks like the sun last week with the forest fires. Looks like the sun last week. What my little ball in the back looks like the sun <laughs> with the forest fires. Oh yeah, man. Um, it's so sad to see those um, those forests on fire, you know. Hopefully those people are staying safe and uh, staying far away from it if possible. And, uh, yeah, have a good week, my friend Tom. Thank you. Thank you, brother. And um, it's coming a long way with the, with the streams. I had to really minimize the equipment I'm using. I don't know why. I have to use just one computer. I had to disconnect my second monitor and my hub otherwise it wouldn't work so i'm trying to figure out why <laughs> why is this happening yep hey if you have any questions about any of this stuff please leave a comments any ideas for next week's lesson you know throw them in the comments you know if you think about something in 10 minutes you're like oh man i wish uh, he would explain this throw it in the comments and i'll get to it next week for sure all right i love you guys and uh, be cool. We're playing, man. Hope you're doing well. All right. Well, that's very kind of you. Mark one fifteen. Love you, play, man. Hope you're doing well. Well, I am doing well, and thank you very much. I'm doing well now, especially since I heard this amazing comment from you, Mark. That is really, really awesome. Thank you. So, uh, any um, you know, hit the like button, subscribe. Any ideas for next week, please leave them in the comments. And uh, be cool, be kind, and be cherry. See you guys on Thursday and next Sunday. Ciao.